Hey guys, this is Aaron and welcome back to part two of our web application um, tutorial series. So in part one we simply added our web view and our bar at the bottom with our buttons which interact with the web view and we have it so it can load up to a web page. Now we are going to add a activity indicator just to simply sh um, give some visual information about there is something actually happening on the screen. So we can start by simply adding the outlet for our activity indicator. So after the web view here, we can do IB outlet space UI activity indicator. There we go, activity indicator view space asterisk. And I simply name it activity IND, yeah, nice and simply to understand. If I can spell it right, that is. So, activity IND, so simply a shorter way of putting activity indicator. And we can do enter. And now we need to create an NS timer for our activity indicator. And I'll simply name that timer in that with a semicolon. This will mean so we can kind of animate and function and spin around, give it the animation effect um, to the activity indicator. So once we've done that, we jump into our viewcontroller.m and just after the um, bit of code there where we set the web view to load up our URL, we simply do bracket web view space add sub view and the sub view we're going to add is our activity indicator. So the activity IND or however you named it and that raise semicolon. Now we can do the um, coding for our timer, so the timer space equals space bracket ns timer space scheduled timer with time interval and we need the one with the target selector, user info and the repeats. So in the first highlighted section here we do two brackets and I'll do 1.0, I'll explain this in a moment. To um, forward slash 2.0. This is the speed it's going to be rotating and how we want it. And in the target, we do self the selector, we do at selector, and then we do loading as we're going to be creating a void statement in a moment. So we'll come to that just in a moment. And in the user info here, we do nil, make sure it's the smaller one, the smaller, um, lower case. And repeat yes as we want it to keep rotating until eventually the page has loaded. Now that void load statement we need to do is dash bracket void bracket and we need to name it loading the same as what we um, place in our selector here. Now this will mean that if the web page is loading kind of start animating the activity indicator else if it's not don't really make it do anything at all, basically in a sense. So we need to do if condition here, we do exclamation mark web view dot loading. And then the statements here, we need to do bracket activity in stop, uh, stop animating, yeah. And that is semicolon. And then we do simply just after that there we do else, oh sorry we need to get rid of the uh, brackets here, so we do else and again bracket activity ind start animating. So if it is loading start animating else if it's not loading basically do not animate it and then once we've done that we can jump straight into uh, our main dot storyboard or our XIB and we just find now our activity indicator there we go place that in the center there we'll make it a large white and just for the moment we'll make it blue so we can clearly see it over our pages also select hide when stopped so this means when it's uh, finished doing what it's doing we can hide it so it doesn't stay on the page in the way of uh, our web view and then we need to link up the connection, so we get the activity indicator there. 
and simply drag and drop and place it there. So if you go to build and run now, you'll see that once we start um, loading up our web page, the activity indicator will start animating. And as you can see there, it's going round, and once our web page is completely and finished loading, as you see there, it disappears. And if I do something like interact with the web page once more, it starts animating again, and eventually when it's finished uh, loading the page, uh, it will should disappear. Now, depending on how long it's going to take this web page to load up, there's quite a few images at the bottom there, so it may take a while. Let's just go back. And as you see there, it's all disappeared. So, so that's it for part two. I hope this is helping you at the moment create your own web view application. Uh, make sure you like and follow us on Facebook and Twitter and check out all our apps which are on the App Store just by simply searching Geeky Lemon. Most importantly, if you haven't subscribed, I'll see you all in part three of our web app series. So again, thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Come on, Bob. Come on. Come on, Bob. Oh, I got him my pinky. I got him my... No, it's not my pinky. I got him my finger.